you guys hear about they're doing a brand new Street Fighter live action movie? Who's playing Chun Li? I, I think it was like just announced. Hang on, let me see if I can find anything. This is kind of like jank. It's not even prepared. There's been a lot of movie news recently, actually. Uh, oh, there's, there's, a old, there's an old movie, isn't there? Uh, Mario? Yeah, Mario. I'm seeing Mario next week. So I'll talk about that next week. Oh, I'm sad. I, mm, I want to see it. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm just going to go with, with Laura. We're just going to go see it after work one day. She's not massively into it, but I kind of really want to see it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I saw something briefly about this earlier. Um, yeah, it's uh, Legendary have acquired film and TV rights to Street Fighter. Did they do the Mortal Kombat? Oh, what, the new movie? The new, yeah, was it, yeah. Wasn't Legendary World of Warcraft as well? I have no clue. Ooh. I don't remember. Mortal Kombat uh, I, I 2021. The legendary icon. That that shit is in my head. Um, I, I've forever linked legendary with um, 300. Yeah, legendary. <laughs> else is... Just trying to find anything for the Mortal Kombat movie. I'm just curious if they're cornering the market in adaptations of <laughs> <It's> very, <laughs> game franchises. That's so specific. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just wondering. He's like, what else could now? What are they going after next? What's the other big one? Tekken? Oh, fuck. And Guil- then, Guilty uh, Gear movie. Soul Calibur. <laughs> Melty Blood. Melty Blood. <laughs> yeah, fucking, yeah, fucking Skull Girls movie. <laughs> Take oh, like Skull Girls. Oh, oh, they could do a great Skull Girls movie. Oh, they did Detective Pikachu as well. I want, I want really obscure fighting games into movies like the most you know like re- the ones that no one plays anymore i was gonna about to say marvel versus capcom but that's basically just avengers what, what's the one them's fighting herds them's fighting herds yeah that one live action, <laughs> from, live, live, action. Live, live action brony fighting movie <laughs> <Hell> yeah. <laughs> what was that one you linked uh last week steve the kind of like Killer Instinct ripoff. Oh <laughs> shit! The yeah, what was that? Don't know. Oh, the one with, when no one, one played it. Yeah, you were supposed to stream that, Josh. Oh uh, yeah, I no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't remember what it was called now. Dive kick, a dive kick movie. Oh my god! Yeah, you go into cinema and watch it, and the, the whole movie is like forty-seven seconds long. <laughs> <laughs> Just a guy jumping. Fo- they do a for honor movie, and then you just hear Josh in the background being like, "It's a fighting game, I swear." Oh hell yeah! You joke, yeah. but a for honor movie would be fucking sick. Would be. Is that just like Game of Thrones or something? Isn't that <laughs> isn't that for honor the movie basically? It would be about like four random people from around the world traveling to meet each other to kill each other in one on one combat or something. I don't. It know. would star Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm here to kill you. <laughs> he has a cameo just in the background. <laughs> Please stop fighting, and he gets killed. <laughs> oh, he, he well, he's gonna become um the, the uh Marvel Stan Lee of Ubisoft, <laughs> yeah, of Ubisoft movies. <laughs> nice, yeah. we got our Eve reference in for the week. Yeah, <laughs> Mo- good stuff. Movie really missed it. <laughs> movie ends with just Eve will return in <laughs> four on a two. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's good. It's good to see. I don't know if it's good news, the movie might be shit, but it's good to see Street Fighter in really good, like, spirits these days. Because I feel like there's, mm. a, there's a lot of really, there's a lot of hype around Street Fighter 6, I feel. I feel like when, mm. when a new trailer drops, or there's like a new thing with Street Fighter, and I read comments from people, there's lots of comments like, oh, I don't normally play Street Fighter, but this looks really cool, and stuff like that. And I, I'd like to see that. Yeah, yeah. Because I love yeah, this series this so nice- much. This is my skeptical take, but I feel like because Smash is kind of like over for now, and like it's not in Evo anymore and stuff, I feel like it's giving room for other fighting games to kind of like shine a little bit. That's such uh, that, a, that's a take. That's such yeah. a poor take, but I'll let it slide. Probably <laughs> Smash well, has it, not been a dominant fighter in a well, very no, no, long but time. like in 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 normality, like we were always excited for like what's the next smash character going to be and now it's like you don't have that on the internet anymore it's kind of like oh what what's street fighter doing over there like, no, cause they're showing off smash characters. smash transcended the fighting game genre true like there there there's fighting games that you know sell x amount yeah. of copies then there's smash bros just at the front casually selling like you know what like maybe, 20 maybe this million is just copies for me or something personally yeah, yeah. 
I think yeah. I think it's just for me. Like I'm like, oh, Smash is like, there's no Smash announcements. Like, what are these other fighting games doing? Like? <laughs> Especially because it's not even a real fighting game, is it? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. It's, it's my favorite platformer. <laughs> the question from last oh, week. Oh no! <laughs> oh, did you see the uh, the Riot uh, fighting game? They've announced that that's basically free to play now as well. well I mean, we're always going. To yeah, we always kind. Yeah. Well, at least that's the yeah. the Riot way of doing things, I guess. I I still mm. stand by like I I want Riot to come out and have an amazing fighting game that is free to play, and yes, maybe not like it doesn't make Street Fighter and everything else going forward free to play, but it makes them all seriously reconsider what they're doing which is I, 70 I pound can't releases <laughs> they're all still full price copies it's, it's mad to me full full mm -hmm. price games within game shops and dlc season passes yeah it's, yeah in, in a series it's, that it's on funny. paper should be free to play a free to play game yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so weird it's like uh I feel yeah, like I feel like fighting games have gotten away with this for far too they long actually, they, they have <laughs> because it, it's almost it almost feels like um like a secret pact internally where yes, the, the Tekken yeah. people are talking to Street Fighter people, are talking to Mortal Kombat people, and they're like, look, we've got, we've good got a here. really good thing going <laughs> here. Yeah, let no one say anything. Yeah. It's like they're all agreeing not to call each other out on how bullshit it is that every fighting game is full price and everything cosmetic is yeah. paid for and it has character passes. Oh my God, yeah, yeah. You know that if all those devs of those fighting games were in a room with the director of the riot fighting game they would like shun him they'd be like no they're you, already you... they're plotting his like assassination <laughs> yeah, already you, they're all <laughs> you fucking ruined it how could you betray yeah. us like this <laughs> yeah yeah i do think yeah i'm really hoping like riot comes out uh makes a really good fighting game and it just like changes the entire genre landscape like overnight you know yeah mm. like like riot game comes out it's really good street fighter is like we're free to play now uh and yeah. then every other game is like followed suit yeah, yeah. I, I love fighting games and i'm gonna i'm gonna get street fighter 6 and i'm you know i'm gonna buy hey, it as i price. might get street fighter 6 it looks honestly good. yeah <laughs> I, I i think i am because i feel like i wouldn't usually but i'm like josh can kind of teach me <laughs> a little bit how oh, to i play. would i would i would hope there's some sort of open beta before launch yeah yeah, yeah. um i'm wait i like because it, it's rapidly approaching right it's like early june um, it's in June Pocalypse where yeah. every game is coming <laughs> yeah. out. I'm fully expecting somewhat soon some sort of you know talks starting about open betas and stuff. Um, yeah, I somehow dodged every single uh, closed beta despite threatening to firebomb Capcom headquarters if I didn't get in. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't believe they didn't go for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, um, but I, I would expect something, and that'd be that'd be a good chance for anyone. To like hop in and see, you know what it's about. Um, mm. Probably not. A, a, I don't know. It's, it's tricky because hopping into a fighting game for the first time, your first experiences are always normally shit because you're not very yeah. good. Um, but yeah. it, especially if it's like in an open beta or launch, that's most likely when you're going to get other new players in. Exactly. And, yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, the best thing uh, that the best thing about hopefully Street Fighter Six being you know, really good and really popular is that gives you a larger player pool and a larger mm -hmm. player pool will give you more accurate MMR because there's just literally exactly. more people on this scale that can, you know, higher chance to be around your level. So, oh God, oh God, I'm so excited for this game. I'm so excited. <laughs> I nearly booted up Strive again, Guilty Gear Strive, but I decided not to in the end just because I watched some videos and that game looks crazy and it scared me. <laughs> so I'll just wait for Street Fighter Six. I was gonna say, oh, get like I, I, it's bad, but like Guilty Gear has like such a good art style for me. I'm like, that is, like, if that was a good game, I would be like, hell yeah, give me that. But, it, is a, it is a good game. It's a very it's good a, game. It is a good game, Steve. <laughs> well, you know, it's a good game, but it's a complicated game, right? It's I think what all all fighters will be. Yeah. At the end of time. Yeah. Yeah. The the Except simplest the right one. No, the right game will also be no, more complicated. Yeah, literally every every time um, one of these gets announced or there's a trailer or something, you go to the comments on it and people are like, is Street Fighter 7, is Tekken 9, are they, is it a good one? And everyone's like, yeah, this is the one to jump in on because it's got a brand new training mode. It makes things super simple and they're all lying to you. They are all <laughs> lying to you. Or well, the thing uh, is, is that there's only one way to get into fighting games and it's to go get your ass handed to you yeah. over and over again. Take yeah. your face, find the nearest wall, <laughs> smash 
smash your head against it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What well, I will you say is, eventually. the comments are always like, it's never been better to get into fighting games, which is usually true because you, you do tend to find with every sequential game that comes out, training modes mm -hmm. and tutorials and things do get better. Um, yeah. But unfortunately, yeah, like, like everyone here is saying, at some point, you have to jump into the ring and you have to get yeah. your ass beaten. Um, and a lot of people don't like that, which is absolutely fine. You know, same reason people don't like competitive 1v1 RTS games. You know, when it's, yeah. when it's you versus another physical human being in the world and yeah. you lose, it is your fault. You have lost. That person has beaten you. And that doesn't oh, see, that... feel good. <laughs> no, see, I see. I love that. I love one v one ranked games because I'm like, oh, it's it's all on me. If I go down to like bronze league, I climb back up. It's multiplayer games where I get ranked anxiety, and I never play multiplayer. Ranked there you go. Games then because... why are you not playing fighting games? Uh because no, I'll play. I'll play six. I'll play six. Yeah, it's it's, it's that you... compounded with a lot. Drive his own game pass right now. Yeah, you can play it. Strive is a good little entry point. If you want to just dabble, you can just jump into Strive. He's lying I to you. Straight up, <laughs> I'm lying. I, I am lying. I have the copium. I will not play fighting games. Not You'll because the right they're one. good. No, I won't. <gasps> because I know that fighting games just aren't for me. Yeah, I respect I anyone who can... What it, yeah. I don't have what it takes to get into those types of games and actually we, enjoy it. We need better social fighting games. That's what... We need we need more for honors and stuff where it's like we can we can be a team and go in together because it's like oh. yeah it's like if I want to play a multiplayer game I want to play something where you guys, I can get you guys in and we can hang out and shoot the yeah. shit and it's like there, there, there was a fighting game that was multiplayer free to play online had a cast of like licensed <laughs> oh god I just don't, yeah I just don't care about fucking multiverses <laughs> yeah, I want for honor but good Steve <laughs> yeah I get it, I get it you know again for for honor was actually probably my, it's my favorite fighting one. game. Yep, but it's it's still almost too complicated, right? It's still yeah. got that fighting game thing. Well, it's because but it was so it just, into, just into it controlling, game. kind of like an action RPG. I was like so much more ready to get into it, you know? Yeah, mm. yeah. For Honor is it's, always it's like fighting game skills just don't translate to other video games. The same as like RTS. Well, I guess RTS and MOBA they have. There's some like mechanical crossover you know what i mean but it's like fighting games you sit down and it's like push up on the stick to jump and i'm like no that's wrong no 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 <laughs> where's the where's mm, the jump button no where's the jump button that's not right <laughs> you should play on uh you can buy something called a hitbox you ever heard of that that has that can buy a hitbox legal at the moment yeah that's a whole other story that's didn't think we talked about this today but yeah you can buy <laughs> hang on hitbox controller what you ever heard it's what is it let me see if I can find a picture. There we go. It's just a look stick. at that. No, there is no stick. <laughs> that's that's the thing. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you have, Why is it so big? Uh, Why is there no stick? You have so you have your all the white buttons there. That's your normal mm -hmm. buttons you have on an arcade stick. But all movement and jumping are handled by the red buttons. Oh, so, that seems a bit more easier for me. I'd want that. Yeah. If if you want to get into this, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little hack here, Steve. You can basically do this with a keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Do this. People, Damn. yeah, people are like, oh, should I get into fighting games and buy a hitbox? It's like just play on PC and use use your keyboard. And if you if you really like it, fifty pounds. <laughs> yeah, accessory. Um, but yeah, so I kind of so much room for stickers on it. I don't even oh. know how we got here. Jesus, where am I? Um. <laughs> Yeah, fighting games. Uh, Street uh, Fighter Six is gonna get a movie. <laughs> nice. Okay. To um, be fair, the one thing I always enjoyed about Street Fighter was their like story mode. Yeah. Just because I like the characters. That was always yeah. The characters are great, which meant the story mode was always just a really good watch. Yeah. Actually, although uh, there was just a question about who would you cast, I think the bigger question is. Which character is Chris Pratt going to play in this movie? <laughs> All Ju of them. Jury. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Chris Pratt punches you and you fall over and he sits on you and he's got his feet all out and he's got a lollipop and he's like, oh, this is fun. It's like, oh, God, why? <laughs> Chris Pratt, why? <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I think what makes a Street Fighter sort of cast so interesting is the fact that, because it was always about world warriors, right? 
Mm-hmm. So you always had it was like all these different characters from countries very diverse. all over the world and it's yeah it's very diverse you get all different types all in all together and you kind of forget that because these characters are so what's the word like legacy now you know like ryu ken whatever they've all been around for mm. literally decades but it's like yeah it's like these are all characters from different countries and they all have their own quirks and stuff oh i love it i love it 